Texas Howell School District set to release what could be a stunning internal audit. Elliot Davis hearing from residents who have been after answers for years on how the St. Charles County School District overspent tens of millions of dollars from a tax measure that voters okayed. Francis Howell School District paid to have an internal audit done. They hope it answers all the questions surrounding tens of millions in questionable spending of Prop S money that voters okayed in 2020. Voters passed a $244 million tax measure for school improvements. The biggest questions came while building the new Francis Howell North High School. It was supposed to cost $86.3 million. Instead, it was nearly double with a price tag of $164.7 million. The school district estimates were off on just about all of the other projects with Prop S money too. The high school cost so much, other projects had to be put on hold for lack of money. I talked to the head of the group, Francis Howell Families, that's been battling the school administration over spending for years. Do you think the internal audit is a good idea? Internal audit is a good first start. What's the biggest question mark that you had? How did this happen? We, as a community, asked and asked and asked for validation. We asked for numbers during the entire process. We didn't get it until the last minute. But he says the internal audit not good enough considering all the money spent. School board member Randy Cook agreed. He wrote this letter to state auditor Scott Fitzpatrick asking for his office to intervene and investigate school district spending. In his letter, he said the district began construction of the new Francis Howell North High School in early 2021 without knowing the final price. He's not alone. State Representative Phil Cristofanelli from St. Peter's also wrote the auditor calling for a state audit. They've got an internal well, audit that's going to come out this week. Isn't that enough? Elliot Enron had internal audits as well. Uh, I think we need an independent review of the district's finances uh, to figure out why this happened and to make sure that it doesn't happen again. I reached a school district that declined an on-camera interview but provided this statement saying, we are aware of the request that was submitted to the state auditor. As our superintendent stated publicly at our January Board of Education meeting, we welcome any outside review of our process and procedures. We are working hard to be transparent regarding our finances and Prop S. We need to figure out what happened there. There needs to be accountability. Francis Howell is supposed to release that internal audit at the school board meeting Thursday night. Of course I'll stay on top of this deal. After all, you paid for it.